crazy. I, every time I would turn on Netflix, you know, on Saturday, I'm like, what am I going to watch? It, I was like, Netflix is making me watch this. <laughs> and I'm happy I did. This started with your books. Yes. Did you ever think that it could turn into this? It's, it's a runaway success. In the, my wildest dreams. It was fun. When I was writing the first book, my mom was reading it and her sisters, and they were like, more, more, more. So now to see it at this level is a miracle. So at the core of it, though, is an uncomfortable discussion on obsession. Um, the character falls in love, and he uses social media. Everything that we do, our digital footprint, he uses to stalk her. Was this based on someone you knew or something that you'd read? Fortunately, no, oh, not God. to that extent. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's, a relief. <laughs> it's kind of blowing up the ways that it's a social network, but it can be an anti-social network. And for me, like, we put ourselves out there, and that's a very optimistic thing to do. And I've always had that dark imagination of, like, well, you're telling someone everything. And that word, you, like, we like to hear the sound, happy birthday to you, I love you, but what about the person who's saying it? And what if they're coming to feel like you belong to them? You belong to them. And is it still romantic? Is it still worth it? And all those questions, so. Because that's the thing, obsessive love is not new, but in this digital right. age that we live in, mm -hmm. someone finding everything about you is really a nerve, you know, in that first part of the series. And I don't think that we, when we're, we post on Instagram or Twitter, whatever the social media network that you use, I think that we don't really understand that you reveal so much of yourself and it happens so quickly, you know? It's like 15 seconds and like, they could see your home. So we just have to, I, f I feel like for me, I have, I have two daughters. Yeah. So I, it's really important for me to explain those things types of things to them. Was it an awakening for you playing the character and being in this? Did it change, as you said, with your even your kids, for how you sure. thought? Sure, yeah. I mean, absolutely. I, 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 you know, I enjoy my kids and they're like, my oldest daughter's 10 and she just got her first phone and she's really curious about social media and I won't let her have like Snapchat and these things and it's... Good idea. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's scary, but at the same time, like I don't want to shelter them too much. So you have to find like a boundary for them as you as a parent and what works for you and, and your family. And the thing is too, we're as guilty as the kids. I mean, you walk, I, I talk to some family members and they, our vacation all over Facebook. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Everyone could piece together your whole day. Yeah. If they followed you for a week, they could find out, as you said, where you live, where you go. There was a scene in the beginning of the series and he's looking through her window. I went to my window, like, is there somebody <laughs> looking in the window? That's the, you put yourself in the characters on this show. Yeah, yes. I literally, last night, I was looking through my hotel window and I I saw two people in their kitchen and I was like, okay, this feels too much like Joe. Like, I gotta close right, it. Like, right. I was like, yeah. I feel like I'm stalking now. I can't do this. And everyone, <laughs> but when I lived in New York, when I was younger, I would have my windows open because I was, you know, I wanted to be a Muppet in Manhattan and be yeah. out in the world and see everyone. Oh. And I'm <laughs> forgetting that like, oh, everyone, you don't know everyone who's else out there looking. See. But right. It's like the curtains are either completely closed or open, but now we, part of our lives, it's so open.